I'm Eric Lenask. I'm here at uh, Comtel in Las Vegas. And I'm talking here in the TMC newsroom with uh, Prakash Nagpal. He's from uh, Actelis. Uh, Prakash, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Eric. So uh, let's start off with the big news. You guys uh, have some really exciting news coming out. Tell me about it. Yeah, well, one of the big uh, Ilex, rural Ilex in the U.S. is going to be announcing the use uh, that they continue to use our technology to deploy uh, business class Ethernet services and use our technology to backhaul uh, traffic on their DSLAMs uh, from various rural locations to their core network. Excellent. So, uh, you know, I don't want to be the one to us for a surprise, but it is a Stanford, Connecticut based uh, uh, provider. Tell me a little bit more about particularly the, the uh, DSLAM capabilities. So, Frontier Telecommunications, uh, headquarter, like you said, headquarters out of uh, Stanford, you guys will all read this in the news tomorrow. Uh, is going to deploy our, our products to backhaul traffic from rural DSLAMs where fiber cannot really be cost justified uh, and the population densities are lower. Uh, d use our technology to backhaul the traffic from those DSLAMs into the core network. So, in terms of, I, I guess, uh, two, way, two ways to uh, look at this uh, new deal and, and, and discuss it. One in particular is the business Ethernet market which, has, as you know, has been growing significantly. Why is it important for uh, business customers? It's important for business customers because they are looking for several uh, parameters from their ba broadband. They're all migrating towards Ethernet because it's a lot easier to use, the operational costs are lower. They're, they're migrating towards more symmetric technology. For example, if you use uh, video conferencing as part of your business solutions, it requires upstream bandwidth just like it requires downstream bandwidth because you want to see and you want to be seen. Uh, so there's a move towards symmetry, there's a move towards redu reducing your operational cost, and people are, willing to pay, people are not willing to pay much higher costs per megabit. The price of bandwidth per megabit is going, going down significantly, and the only effective way to deliver that is using Ethernet uh, services to the customers. Well, uh, certainly the, the, uh, you know, the price point is a huge impact in, in the uh, consumer market. Is it quite as big in the business space? So if you look at legacy technologies like T1, when you start combining multiple T1s to get the type of capacity that businesses need, the cost grows exp linearly with the T1. So you have one T1, so for example, you might be paying 300, you have two to get three megabits of bandwidth, you pay 600. Well, that does not work. When you migrate to 10 megabits of bandwidth, you're talking six times 300, about $1,800. That's not affordable by businesses, especially in the small and medium business market, for the types of applications, cloud computing, video conferencing. If they paid such high uh, price points just for bandwidth, they could not afford the types of applications they need to make sure that their business operates uh, efficiently and effectively. So Ethernet provides an alternative, Ethernet over copper specifically, provides an alternative to use the existing infrastructure, copper-based infrastructure, to deliver the bandwidth cost effectively, cost effectively to those businesses. So why not jump over uh, and roll out fiber in, in those areas? Look, if the carriers can afford fiber everywhere, go at it. The challenge is not every carrier has billions upon billions of dollars sitting in their coffers that they can go roll out fiber to every lost business. There's only about 20 to 25% of businesses worldwide that have access to fiber. So for the 75% of businesses that have access to copper today, granted, they might get access to fiber eventually, but in the few decades, you know, the 30, 40 years that it will take to cover all of those businesses, we think that we can provide the solution, and we can provide the solution today to meet those business needs. So basically, you're talking about just the major, uh, major markets having access to fiber technology right now. Everything outside of those markets you're still talking about copper. Exactly, I could not have phrased it better, Eric. That's Great. exactly right. What about uh, pulling out that crystal ball, looking a little bit into the future, what else uh, do you guys have coming out? You know, we're going to push the technology, copper-based technology, we're going to push it to its limit. Uh, we think that we can push it to the limit where we will, the, the lines that are drawn between the capacity that copper offers and fiber off, offers will start becoming extremely gray with the type of technology that we're talking about and bringing to the market. Fantastic. I look, hearing, uh, look forward to hearing more about all these technologies from you. 
I've been talking here in the TMC newsroom with uh, Prakash Nagpal from Actelis. Uh, Prakash, thank you so much for joining me. Have an enjoyable and a fantastically productive rest of the show. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Thank you.